Until very recently, if you want to wanted to add a log source that it was either custom or you know something that is not very common into Curator, you needed to create a device support module, and that implied creating an LSX which looks something like this. I mean, again, not intuitive, a lot of trial and error. Uh, it wasn't like uh, the best uh, things uh, to do. And also, once you do that, you, if you wanted to actually uh, create custom properties, you need to actually go here and extract the property. And if you want to do a mapping of, of those properties uh, to a particular uh, QID, you need to map the, the event here. So let's see how all that changed tremendously in 728 in an example created by Frederick Michael from IBM France. All we need to do is select some samples of the, those logs and actually go here into Actions and DSM Editor is the new feature of 728. And when you click on it, you are brought into a nice GUI that brings all those logs that I just selected into this raw log data place and here are the uh, the properties that we're going to be matching and uh, these are the generic one and here are the properties so let's start by actually creating a demo log that we actually created those logs from a uh, fictitious banking uh, application so we're going to create a new log sort type called uh, demo bank We save that and we're going to select precisely that one. Here it is. So we select that one. And th now everything that we're going to be doing is going to modify the logs from that particular log source. The next thing that we need to do is that we are not going to use many of these standard uh, fields that are in here. So we're going to select only uh, event ID, event name, and we're going to get rid of all those. And also these ones. So this is a small subset that we need to actually fill, fill up. So let's get started by, let's, let's say that we're going to extract the user name first. So we type here user, and that's precisely what we want to do. And we're going to put the regular expression that matches, and I have those already in a file and that's what we want. Notice that in, in dark uh, color is the what we are tracking and in light yellow is what we are actually uh, getting, extracting. And as you see here in the username there are already those names there. Let's do source IP. So it's exactly in the same way. source IP, paste the regular expression here, yep, that's what we want, first capture group, we're done with that one. I just noticed that I did not want the event name, but actually event category, not a problem, I go back here and actually select event category and deselect event name and do the update. And that's what we want. Let's do event ID now. So we want event ID, and the event ID is uh, it's going to be that thing that comes after operation error, close, login, failed, etc. So as we did before, we put the regular expression in here, and that's what we want: log out, login failure. That looks good. Now on event category, I'm going to kind of uh, simplify things and fake this a little bit. So I'm going to put here uh, user and I'm going to put here a category. So they're all going to get the same uh, category here. Now for the account number we need to create a custom field. We can do that from this particular 
same pane. We say create new. We give it a name. Let's say bank account number. We enable it for parsing. Here's our, you know, what you need to consider every time you select that option and click save. Now once we select that one that we just added, we can treat it as any of the other ones. As before we paste the regex and that's the account number that we want. That works. We're done with that one. Now for the balance or the amount we need to do the same thing. We need to create uh, another custom field. We do it right from here. Create new. We call it amount. Again, we enable it, uh, enable it here. Clip save. We select that one. And we do as we have done before. Let's put the regex to get that amount. And that's what we want. Now I want to map an event ID, the login failures, login fail, this one in here, to a particular uh, QID to assign a, a QID mapping. And we do that, and that's what that this event mapping here uh, is all about. So we click here. The event ID is a login fail, and the category is a category where we choose an event. So I click create new. So let's call that name login. Oops. Login fail, all one word. The log source type is the demo bank. That we should have here. Right there. Let's say the high level level category is a login failure, so let's Choose authentic choose authentication and low level category. I think there should be a user user login failure. Let's increase the severity here, make that seven and save it. And notice that a new QID ending in 00002 has been actually uh, created, all done from the same uh, from the same uh, page. So we choose the same event and we got that mapping done here for us. We need to save our work and we are done here. So now it's like if we would have gotten uh, this uh, DSM already built for us. Uh, and all we need to do is go into log sources and add a new log source. And we should have now in the types in here in the pull down, we should have demo bank. And sure, we have one that in here. We give the name, the DSM, the, this is the address where all the, all the actual logs come. And we need to select an extension. That is that LSX that I showed you at the beginning. But this one has actually been automatically created for us. And we just click Save. Of course, we need to deploy the configuration. Deploy the changes. And I'm going to actually do that and post the video. Now, as we replay the same logs, <laughs> this is what we get. You know, nicely populated now. DSM now being made easy in seven to eight and up. So not only we created the, the LSX document very easily. We actually, we can see this contributed to offenses already. Uh, but also, if we click to the on the actual event, we see that we those are the custom fields that we created all from the same place, and we have a mapping. Remember that mapping that we got. 00002. So all done from the same place. This is now very easy to do.